Hey y'all, welcome back to Prepping the Truth. Welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about some strange things that keeps happening around the U.S. So if you are new to this channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you are notified when I upload new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. So I know that most all of y'all have already heard about the Wisconsin dairy plant catching fire and, you know, the possibility of butter shortages and all that kind of stuff right there. But that's not necessarily what we're going to be talking about. What we're going to be talking about is, isn't 2023 kicking off to a good start? Kind of similar to 2022, because if you really go back, it's strange how many food processing or manufacturing plants caught fire last year alone compared to the normal rate there was one in Illinois, freeze drive facility, uh, Cargill and Neutrina Livestock and Pet Feed Mill in Louisiana, Potato Company in Washington, and this is just a few of them, uh, fertilizer plant, meats manufacturing plant, soy processing plant, fire devastates a milk parlor, dairy cows had to be transferred to facilities. I mean, it's just a whole list of stuff through here, you know. Manufacturing plants specializing in salty snacks, cookies, and crackers in Oregon. Uh, Sunnyside, Washington. Another, another fire. It's a huge list of over 20 food facilities in 2022. And then this happens right after 2023 starts. And a lot of times there's shortages that comes out of this. And a lot of times when there is shortages that happen... The prices go up. So you can call it whatever you want to. I guess it depends on how you think and how you see things. But conspiracy, non-conspiracy, crazy preppers, you know, looking too much into stuff. However you want to put it. But this is not something that we used to see on the news all the time. This is not something that every time you cut YouTube on, you've seen somebody saying, well, another food manufacturing plant has burned down. It's just not something that we were seeing on a regular basis all of the time until last year. And it just kind of like amped up. I mean, it just, when it got going, it got going. I mean, you're looking at 12 months in a year. We had 20-something food facilities and manufacturing plants catch fire. That is multiple plants per month. Catching fire when it was a rare occurrence and did not happen near as much. And if it did happen, it was usually just a little section. You know, they got the fire put out, done some damage, they get it back going. It doesn't shut the whole place down, things like that. Some of these were complete and total losses, destroyed the whole entire thing. So they can't even get it just right back up and running. The whole place was a total loss. This is not counting the millions of chickens and turkeys that have been intentionally slaughtered for a so-called flu outbreak. It's not all the cows that were taken to the sales and auctioned off early because of major droughts and feed costs. It's all of this stuff happening in one year, all across the country that all has to do with something to do with our food and processing. And like we wasn't already seeing enough, you know, food shortages just from, you know, panic buying and things of that nature when all of that set into, but then you're seeing shortages because the plants are burning down and then they can't produce it, so it goes into a shortage, and then it comes back once they do get it going, and you're paying a lot more for it, and you're not paying the 10%, like the inflation claims, you're paying like 50% or more, because even though there has been a dumbing down of America, and we all know there's been a dumbing down of America, most of us can still do average math doesn't take a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a mathematician to do it. You just simply need to be able to count. And most all of us can count clear enough to see that we're paying way more than 10% inflation. So no matter how much they have dumbed down Americans with 
might as well say with the propaganda and all that kind of stuff into making us just think whatever gets said on these great old big TVs by the mainstream is the truth and stuff like that. People can see through it. People can see and hear what is going on and all you have to do is sit back and think about it for a minute. Not let what's being said just go straight in and say, oh, well, it's just something that happens all the time. Really sit back and see if it is something that has been happening all the time. I mean, how many times did you cut on that news all the time? And they say, whoop, another fire, whoop, another fire, multiple times a month. That was not happening. That was not going on. This is a new occurrence that's happening. And all of this stuff just seems to be happening in the food sector. Something to do with either the actual food plant or the processing manufacture plant of some form of food. But it's all in the same little sector. It's not anything to do with, you know, odd and in electronic place or some something like that. It's all in the food sector. So it's just, even the fertilizer plant. I mean, you know, if there's a shortage of fertilizer, they're not going to be able to grow as good of crops because they can't fertilize crops. And if there's a shortage of fertilizer, the price goes up, which means it will cost more to grow it and produce it, or they just won't do it at all. Strange things happening, but sometimes you just have to use the brain that God give you to see what's going on and to figure it out and not be one of the dumbed down sheeple that believes everything that you see. Call it what you want, call it what it is, but... It's just strange things going on that a lot of people says can't be explained, but I think there's more of an explanation to it than most people believe. So thank you so much for watching this video. That'll give you a little bit of something to think about here in January if you haven't already thought of it. Most of you probably already has because y'all been watching this stuff unfold, but for those of you that haven't, maybe that'll give you something to think about. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, God bless you, and keep prepping.